You are looking at my 2020 VMAX that I bought brand new a few months ago. If you would like one for yourself, good luck. Climb aboard with me as I take you for a ride and I explain what I had to do to purchase this bike. Hey everyone, this is just a short video to tell you a little bit about my buying experience when I went to go get the VMAX. If you have seen my other video on how I decided on getting the VMAX over other motorcycles, then you know that I had done some research on the internet for quite a while. And after all of that research, it's one thing to look at one on the internet and it's another thing altogether to actually sit on a motorcycle and to look at one in person unfortunately the dealership in my area in Montgomery Alabama only had one of the motorcycles that I was interested in and that was the Honda Goldwing it did not have the other two which were the Yamaha FJR and the Yamaha VMAX so I found a dealer in Columbus Georgia that had all three of those motorcycles. I went there one day and was fortunate to have all three right there that I could sit on, walk around, look at. And that's when I decided, really it came down to two motorcycles. It was either going to be the VMAX or the Goldwing. And I still deliberated over that for probably a week or two after I left that dealership. But then ultimately I decided on the VMAX for the reasons that I list in my other video. So once I decided on the VMAX, I called my local dealer and told them what I wanted and they said that they would try and find me one. Well, they called me back relatively soon and told me that they had one, or they found one in Columbus, Georgia. And I told them I did not want that bike because, as you will see in the photo, I took pictures the day that I was there checking out all three bikes because that dealership unfortunately had already modified the motorcycle they had removed the stock exhaust and put on an aftermarket exhaust and also at the same time they removed the catalytic converter and all of that combined added another $2,500 to the motorcycle well, not only was I not interested because of the additional cost, but I wasn't interested because of the exhaust. To me, one of the most unique features is the exhaust having four pipes looking at you from the rear. So there was no way that I wanted to buy that motorcycle. Not to mention, I wasn't quite sure if a dealer can even sell a motorcycle without a catalytic converter. So I'm not even sure how legal that is. but. Anyway, that's beyond me, but I would be concerned about buying a brand new bike without that converter on there. I, after I told my dealer that I wasn't interested in the bike in Columbus, they said that they would research and see if they could find me one. After a couple of days, they called me back and said that they could not find me one, and they weren't sure if they could get one from Yamaha, uh, especially with COVID going on. So they weren't sure what the outlook was until the end of the year well I didn't stop there because I was already familiar with Yamaha's website and they have the search inventory link I got on there and looked around and punched in my zip code and that thing will tell you which bikes are closest to you and it will go out several hundred miles I've seen it go out as far as I think 900 miles before I found one in Atlanta and that's about three hours from where I live. I called the dealership just to make sure that they did indeed have that motorcycle because sometimes what an internet inventory will indicate is not the same as reality. They told me they had the motorcycle. We did everything over the phone to get that ready. It was ready for me to pick up 
a couple of days later. A friend of mine has a trailer, so he and I drove out there and picked it up. And the whole process took a couple of hours. And during that process, the dealer gave me an envelope with some paperwork and some other things in there. One of the things that I was already familiar with was the owner's manual. And I looked through it and I found in there a little bit of a nugget that said something about the dealer will give you a second tool kit. Because I've explained that the tool kit on the bike is underneath one of the side panels. I was very aware of while at the dealership to look for that second tool kit if the dealer didn't give it to me I would know to ask for it. But anyway, uh, when I opened the tool kit, it really wasn't much of a kit. I was expecting several things, but really there was only one thing there, and it is nothing more than the spark plug wrench. Uh, that's one thing to be on the lookout for. And the other thing was inside this envelope with the paperwork and the tool kit was this black, was this black plastic thing that I couldn't figure out what it was and I didn't really do much with it while I was at the dealership. It wasn't until I got home that I decided to experiment with it. And only later did I find out that it's really nothing more than a fancy key holder. So the motorcycle comes with two keys, this deluxe or fancy key, and then just a standard key. Uh, but anyway, so if you do purchase one, just be on the lookout for those two things that are supposed to come with the motorcycle. While at the dealership, another thing that I did was I purchased the Yamaha Extended Service, what they call YES. And prior to getting to the dealership and many days or weeks leading up to it, I tried to find out as much about the YES plan as I could, particularly the cost, and I couldn't find anything out there on the internet. It seems to be one of those secrets that you only learn when you get to the dealership. When I got there, I, I had inquired about it, and basically you have options to extend your standard warranty, which is one year unlimited mileage. And if you buy the YES, you can extend that warranty with an additional one, two, three, or four years. I purchased an additional four years. Therefore, I have a total of five year warranty, unlimited mileage, and no deductible on my motorcycle. To me, it seems like a pretty good deal. It's peace of mind, if, if nothing else. Now, the price on the Yes seems to be negotiable because what they had really what they had originally asked me for I felt like it was too high so they came down a bit and then they came down again and ultimately I decided on it at $1,300 I think it's one of those things that the dealer probably makes more money the more they sell this thing for uh, but anyway for $1,300 I feel pretty comfortable with it and again I've got peace of mind if nothing else hopefully no nothing will go wrong with the bike in five years um, but if it does, I'm covered. Now, one other unique feature of the Yamaha Extended Service is they've got something in there a little similar to AAA in that if you do break down for a warranty item, they will provide up to $250 worth of reimbursable expenses that cover towing, lodging, food, and things of that nature related to your breakdown. That seems pretty handy. Again, I hope to never cash in on that. So after getting through all of the paperwork and finalizing the deal, we pushed the motorcycle out of the dealership and loaded it onto my friend's trailer and started our three hour ride back. And coming home, we stopped at a rest area. And what's interesting is we barely parked the truck and someone came up to us and he was asking about you know what is that motorcycle because he had never seen anything like it so again this goes back to the unique nature of the Yamaha VMAX and which is why I think many people find the find this bike so appealing and that has happened several times since I have purchased it
And again, because the motorcycle is so rare, and they are hard to find at dealerships, I do question how long this motorcycle will be available. If this is something that you are looking for, uh, I wish you all the best in being able to find one. You might have to travel several hundred miles in order to do so. But if it's something you really want and you're fortunate enough to be able to find a dealership that can accommodate, I wish you all the best and hope everything goes your way. See you next time.